Hello Leo, this is Victoria and I'm ready with your uh, energy reading. This is gonna be for this Christmas weekend, even if you don't celebrate it, hopefully you get some additional time off or at least you're in a cheerful mood, but whichever holidays you celebrate in your location. And I've decided, as opposed to doing a collective readings for everybody on a daily basis, I decided to give you a bit more personalized look and uh, get your zodiac sign specific readings. Uh, I'm pretty much done with all of the readings, all of all of the signs. So if this is your reading, happy days. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, or comment. If this story doesn't resonate for you, don't force it. And you may want to check your other placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If you don't know what they are, their websites, they can can uh, help you identify that based on your date and time of birth. Uh, as usual, I'm going to start with an oracle deck. And then we're going to check the energy. A little difference is that this time is going to be... Uh, first, we're going to take a look at Leo energy, your energy. Then we're going to take a look at the energy of your twin flame and then the connection. And at the end, we're going to get some messages from your person to you, Leo. All right, let's get started. Let's see what we have from the Wisdom of the Oracle, one of my favorite decks. Decided to go with it for holiday. I haven't used it for a while, actually, so this should be good. We have Blessed and To Be Fair, number 22 and number 38. Yes, yeah, so remember that on the one hand, you're blessed with extraordinary potential, power, gifts to, um, to have a happy life yourself and to have a blissful life in this uh, timeline, in this journey. And also to help the humanity, the world, planet Earth, to get into a higher vibration and to be in a better space, right? On the other hand, we must remember to stay humble and uh, to kind of be open-minded and fair in our energy and the way we treat people regardless of where they are on their journey. And this could be a very different place, right? And we all have different potential, different stories, but we're all here for a reason. And um, as light workers, we as twin flames at least are supposed to be <sighs> acting and treating people with kindness and love and compassion as much as we can, right? And if you see it's a situation that you cannot change for the better, then at least you have an option to leave it. Um, if, you, if you see that it's actually diminishing your own light and truth, um, you can just walk away, but still remain fair to yourself and to other people, to both. Um, okay, and now that I'm picking up the, the deck to shuffle, we have sun, the real energy at the bottom. I think it's a very good sign. So what do we have for Leo this weekend? What is important to know for Leo on their Twin Flame journey? We got the King of Swords. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, I, I, I'm sensing that it has to do with that to be fair card, to be honest with you. But we'll pull some card cards as well. Uh, what about Leo's Twin Flame? What is happening with them during this time? All right, for them we have Knight of Swords in Reverse. That's interesting. And what about the connection? Death. Nice. Transformation. Complete makeover. Bottom of the deck, Two of Cups. If anybody got scared by the Death card, there is a Two of Cups for you. <laughs> Jesse, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, okay, so let's please clarify King of Swords for Leo. Just clarify Knight of Swords in reverse for Leo's twin flame. All right. Wow, the Empress. And please clarify the death card for the connection.
Ten of Wands, Three of Swords. Wow, so you're putting an end to painful cycles. That's so cool. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So you have Two of Cups and Seven of Cups. Basically, out of all the different choices you have, you're making, uh, even if it's subconsciously at this time, making a choice uh, for true love. If it's not about different people, take it as if, you know, different areas of your life and what you prioritize, what you focus on. And this, this is also a choice, right? Do you focus on your career and which career is it? Or you focus on this. Okay, let me, I'm actually guided to read quickly what we have for the, to be fair card, it's number 38, here in the book. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being, from stasis, to doing, from discovering, to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all of the states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being, masculine and feminine. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. Especially considering you have a blessed card to go with it as well. Um, so count your blessings, Leo. <laughs> um, okay, so for your energy, we have King of Swords clarified by Seven of Pentacles. So it's a time to strategize. That's what I'm hearing. King of Swords is very intelligent, very honest, and very has a very shrewd mind. So this is you kind of like planning everything out logically in a balanced way, in an honest way, right? It's like a war strategy, but for you, it's your to inflame journey strategy. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> uh, if you're not doing that, that you're asked to look at it that way. To be fair, remember the card was to be fair. Be fair to yourself and to other people that are involved in whatever is happening right now. And think about the next steps. You're asked right now to think a little bit more from how the next steps are gonna impact people involved and you know to maybe to reconsider some of those steps your person is also in more in a feminine energy than masculine right now so that was being right if we can compare like being or doing that was about being rather than doing unless of course you consider thinking as doing which i guess you can it's sort of masculine energy but notice that you still have Seven of Pentacles, she's feminine still. And your person, this Knight of Swords is in reverse. So they, at this point, they decide not to take a move towards you, not to uh, speak about their feelings. They are taking care of certain business on their side. I mean, business in a general term, you know, certain... Um, they feel like they, their attention and their energy is needed elsewhere right now. Uh, there could be a person in their life that really needs their help. It could be that they themselves need to nourish themselves. The Empress is about nourishment, it's about creation, it's about taking care, it's about empathy. So their empathy and ability to take care of somebody is needed somewhere. So that's what they are focusing on right now. And to you, it may feel like silence, no movement, like a bit of passive time, but trust that there are a lot of things happening underneath and ultimately those moves, those events are gonna contribute to the journey and to your person's awakening, to, um, you know, progressing on their spiritual path ultimately. And of course, the most interesting part was the journey, the death card, so complete transformation is on the way. Uh, it's definitely going to help you both uh, heal and leave behind certain painful experiences and behaviors. Uh, it doesn't have to be from each other, although we usually trigger each other in that way, so it probably resonates, it echoes, right? But if you really think about it, if you're still at the point where you think that you need to heal 
the pain, just the pain that your twin flame is, has caused you, think again. <laughs> because there's a very good chance that those patterns exist and those pains, you know, those wounds existed in your in your heart space, you know, in your life, in your psyche, long before that specific situation is your twin flame. And you are asked for the complete transformation. You are asked to heal, to go as as deep as you can, to heal the root cause. Where did it all start? A good chance that it started in childhood. And there are all kinds of spiritual practices to go deeper. Uh, and, and that card is also about that. Uh, into those experiences where you can kind of like leave your, get into it, um, changed consciousness you know to kind of dive deeper into your intuition connect with the spirit you know there are different ways different techniques to try and get to the suppressed events and emotions because this is a great time both you know energetically on a cosmic level and it seems like from what the universe is helping you deal with for this transformation and maybe the holiday time is when you don't have to focus as much on the daily life on taking care of 3D stuff and other people, but you have more time to yourself and where you can dedicate more time to this exploration and to this healing process. It's wonderful, I love this. Uh, let's get some messages from your person to you, Leo. What would they like to tell you if they could? Especially considering that we are not seeing much communication here. What would they like to tell you now? we got you are so very special i love this card if i ask you to stay would you leave and i think we should see other people <laughs> yeah but in this case what i'm hearing it's not even about uh that they are choosing other people but that this is the, the message that each of you has something else to focus rather than each other at this time and they understand that they get it and they want you to get it that it's okay it's a healthy thing to do. They don't have to be fixated on each other all day, every day, right? You should be able to kind of step away from the connection and, you know, help to the, help those who really need you right now. And if it's you yourself, then, you know, deal with whatever you are going through. Maybe it's another person on one of the sides and for another on the other side, for another one of you, it's uh, it's yourself. It's your inner child, right? Maybe you have a date with your inner child one evening, why not? But they want you to know that you're special, uh, special and they don't want to lose you. Okay, Leo, I hope this has been good for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll be back again very soon with more readings. Take care, guys. Bye.